Good morning, Dos Sizzle Nation. Ready to start the video, Dos Sizzle? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're ready. <laughs> we're finally back in our own boat. We did a bunch of traveling. You guys been watching the videos? Yes. And so we're out of Stewart. Yep. And uh, we're gonna try some new things today. Uh, try some new spots, do some searching and exploring, which you know you gotta do when you get out of here. Right. So we're gonna run the beach, Dos Sizzle, looking for maybe tarpon or uh, snook. And then we're gonna hit this spot off the FPL power plant. Which I'm not sure it's the season for, but we've never been there and it's like a, well, the water shoots out of the power plant, so there's supposed to be a lot of fish there. Yeah, so we got a long drive ahead of us, but we already loaded up on bait, so now it's time to head to the fishing spot. Yep, all right, I guess we're ready to go. Let's roll. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're just running down the beach here, and we saw a ton of bait like a couple hundred yards off the beach. Not on the beach, which was a little curious. So, uh, and we saw some structure here. So the bait is holding on these rocks, and there's a, a ton of uh, thread fins right here. So this is a great find. So I'm just saying, just like I was saying before, you have to go exploring. And so next time we're coming up this way, north of Stewart, right. we'll have like an extra bait spot. We got so, a new bait spot. Nothing wrong with, I mean, the more bait spots, the better. So success, total success on this uh, leg of the journey so far. Yes. All right, we're at the power plant. Darcy still hasn't caught me a fish yet. I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'm having a lunch break. <laughs> but you know, we're gonna come and inspect and just see what's going on so that we're ready next time. This looks like people anchor up here and drift some baits back. I haven't seen one person catch a fish yet. No, I think but, it's the wrong time of the year. But his lunch is delicious. Good, I'm glad. I didn't make it. <laughs> About five more minutes, we're just gonna Head out to some uh, spots in Fort Pierce we've been looking at on the uh, fish angle route. All right, gonna need help with this. Hooked up. Just going from wreck to wreck up here in Fort Pierce, and we just hooked the first fish of the day. And now I need Brian's help here, so let's see if we can manage this together. Give me a camera. Okay. Pulling too much crazy no. drag. <sighs> Ooh. What is it? Camberjack. Bonita. Is it really? Are you kidding me? Big old Bonita. Good job. Swallowed it. Woo! First fish! I did it. <laughs> Yay. All right, we got fish in the boat. Finally broke off the skunk after doing a little bit of uh, searching around this morning, but that's all part of fishing and learning and learning new spots and places you go to. And we got a beautiful, uh, Benito, we like to call him. False albacore is also one of the names, but look how pretty he is. They're such a cool fish and they fight so hard. So that is a nice one. We're not going to eat him. I know you can if you want. We don't want to, so we're going to keep him for bait. Strips. Got a Benita, another big Benita. Benita Slayer. My favorite fish hold my, ever. Hold my pickies out. Funny the little baby needs gloves. <laughs> Well, why don't you do it? You told me to do it. Oh. No, it's a king. Oh, really? Yeah. You're the pricker. I was wrong. Nice little snake king. That's gonna be. That's gonna keep. He comes in the boat. I'm just gonna throw him in the boat. Yeah, do it. Breaks, he breaks. Okay. No other way to do that. Little baby king. We weren't going to keep him anyway, so he broke off. Yeah. Even if you tried to gaff him, gaff would miss him. <laughs> he was a little snake. Of course, Spoiled King's a snake. They got to be 24 inches to uh, keep. So uh, anything, unless it's over 10 pounds, it's a snake. Yeah. So um, you guys don't want to see another Kingfish video. Trust me. There's a sailfish in our wake. It's a little baby. She's there still? Yes. She's 20 feet behind the engine. She's coming right in for it. Oh, it's gonna be sick. Oh, look. Oh, it's gonna be sick. She's turning on it. Brown got beat. Leave it. I know. I need to get the weight off. She's right here. I need to get the weight off. I need to get the weight off. She won't go for it. It's sinking down too fast. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. She's on it. She's on it. Oh, so sick! <laughs> you never get to see him eat so close. I just think that's a free bait, free liner. She's not on mine. Come back for mine. Here, here she is. 
Watch over here. It's running out. This is set, right? Oh! Now she knows she's up. Sick! That was the sickest eat ever. You put it half, half a turn here, Sam. It's up. I just did a half a turn. How low, how low was that? Pretty very low. Oh, God. Whoa, dude, that was insane. That was so sick. Oh my goodness, that's never happened to us where we actually see a sailfish in the boat wake just chilling right behind the boat, like waiting for a fish to be fed to her. And uh, I took the weight off what I did first. This line had a little weight on it. I casted it to the fish and she turned on it, but the weight was taking the bait to the, to the bottom too fast. She didn't like it. So I immediately cut the bait off. I mean, cut the weight off and the fish stayed right here cast it out a small pilcher because it is a smaller sailfish but that was so cool eating it within 20 30 feet of the boat never get to see that Brian's backing down on the fish get a nice sailfish oh she's head chicken like crazy whoa sick okay, what side do you want to try to land her on uh... it's clear one side Clear out sides, I guess. Lay my rod in the front. Woo! Woo! Come on, sweetie. We're gonna let you go. One of these days, I will catch a marlin, but all billfish in the billfish family are all bucket list fish for many anglers. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at the purple. How sick. Beautiful fish. That is awesome. All right, we got a officially landed sailfish. Hold on. See the last energy. Get away from me. She didn't like that. If we can get her on that side, right? That'd be better. I don't care. The light? Sure, let's, do let's do it. And she did puke up her stomach. If you see that red on her next to her bill, which is a normal thing with sailfish, they will puke up their stomach. And they can obviously put it back in. It's just something that sailfish do. Got her. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Really Keep, her down. Keep her head down. Brian, watch your hand. She's straight up and down. I'm going in gear. I'm in gear. Brian, what? I'm in gear. I'm in gear. She should calm down. Get in gear. Get in gear. Wow. Holy. There's the hook. I'm buried. I got it. Oh, God. I'm going to need help with that hook. All right. She is powerful. She's green. Green, green, green. It could come out. It's in the corner. You might want to come behind me. Okay. I started to pop it out. Okay, where is it? Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yep, you got it. Nice. Watch it, don't get me wrapped. Don't get me wrapped. Oh, sorry. It's on Darcy's ponytail. Oh, come here. Okay, get that out. So we just popped it. that circle hug right out of the corner of this beautiful fish's mouth. She is good to go. Super strong, powerful fish. And she's extra green. And when we say green, that means that we caught her very quickly and she's very lively and very full of life powerful fish man and this would be a smaller size atlantic sailfish honestly um this probably close to keeper but a lot of people we don't eat these fish it's strictly a sportsman catch and release fish and a lot of awesome sailfish tournaments in the winter time so this is a beautiful resident summertime sailfish look how pretty she is all right let's let her go all right here we go this is super strong, healthy sailfish. I'm so confident she's gonna swim to live another day and get real big for us. Here we go. One, two, three. Beautiful. Heck yeah, that's how you release a sailfish, y'all. That was awesome. Trying to get a decent picture with that fish in the water and it was really difficult because again, she was just super active, super lively, and it becomes dangerous when you have a big bill on a fish like that. So I just decided to you know, go ahead and let that fish go. Um, she battled us great and it's again, one of the greenest, liveliest fish we've caught in a while. So that was the sickest bite ever. It's a sick day. Just catching that one fish, that awesome fish. All righty, after, after dark, we that sailfish. Excuse we had a ward. Excuse what? me, I just burped. She just burped. You can hear, she has a mic, so you can hear that. 
excuse me. She's disgusting. Oh, it's getting packed, I think. It's getting packed. Anyway, after we released oh. the sailfish, we had a, a wardrobe change, and then uh, we're trying a couple spots on the way in. Uh, we'll oh. basically get the Six Mile Reef, where the rest of the Googans are. But so far, you know, we're having a very, very successful day. All the bait in the world, Benitas, a beautiful sailfish that Darcy practically hand fed off the back of the boat. And I saw one of my favorite captains where he was fishing. So you don't want to, you don't want to follow people around, but if you see someone fishing somewhere, <laughs> that might be a good spot. So see what happens here. It doubled over for a second. I think they took it. That's what she said. Oh, yours going off. Double header. Over here, straight this way. Can you get underneath me? Underneath or over? Under, oh, over, over, over. I just Ooh. got slammed too. Nice, Brian is hooked up. I am 100% getting Hi, a bite. Hi, Bonita. Feels like the a summertime king. Summertime fish. To Feels catch. like a kingfish now. Here. Get him up before the S word gets him. King. It's a king. King. Kinger. That's crazy. Like ran for the engine. Yeah. Control your little baby fish. <laughs> it's not a baby. Oh, he just slammed the boat. Yep. Do not lose those man's dolls. No way. Oh, now he's in the ladder. <laughs> just get him to the door like a wahoo. Watch that van stall, please. Where's the van stall? Right there in the cup holder, in the rod holder. Don't pop it over the side. Good job. I've lost pliers like that before. That's why I'm screaming oh, about it, guys. <laughs> yeah. These. Right I've lost power doing that. Not being mean, I'm just saying. Nice fish. We'll take him. Yeah, not too bad. Nice. Biggest one of the day. Uh, so flippy. He's so very flippy. Very flippy. Uh, what do you want to do with him? Give him away? No. People that want him? Now that's the same leader we caught the sailfish on. I was too lazy to retie it. It was all frayed up from his bill. Then I just luckily caught a kingfish, the circle hook, those teeth will bite off J-hook in two seconds. So that leader's getting pretty frayed, but we're gonna third time to charm. I'm dangerous, guy, dangerous. I just hooked up. Come on. He's there. He's there. Get in the net. Get in the net. Get in the net. I'm getting the net. Hang on. Watch your back. You need to watch your back. Brian, watch out. I'm oh, sorry. It's a mutton. I don't know if it's going to be a keeper or not. I don't know if it's a keeper. It's a mutton. No. Not a keeper, it's a baby. Yeah. Darn it, you did inhale that thing, though. <laughs> Jeez. He acted like he was huge. All right, little dude. Oh, he's got somebody else's line hanging out of his mouth. Look at that. All right, we're trying to release this guy. Get all these hooks out of his mouth. Looks like he's, oh yeah, then look at that. Look at that, somebody else's hook. Look at that. Nice. I don't know why on earth you would use that, but whatever. You're a Guggen. <laughs> I don't know why you'd use that. You see your hook. This one I can also remove too. Nice. All right guys, just want to remind you guys, I know you see it before, but it's a sequelizer, new rule, and also just a great practice. This is a pressure release valve, so when your fish are blown up, when their air bladder is too full so they won't be able to go back down, put them on a sequelizer, drop it down on a, on a spare rod, and um, when it gets down to 50 or 100 feet, whatever you set of that, clip a release and the fish will swim away, okay? That's way better than poking them in the side or whatever you did. Uh, so make sure you have one of those on your boat at all times. See, now that opened up, and the fish swim away, perfect. All right, guys, we made it back safely to the dock. Another beautiful day in South Florida, absolutely crushing it offshore. And we had a great day catching a lot of fish. Thank you, you too. Thank you so much. It was a fan <laughs> saying hi to us. Yeah, so, and, uh, uh, 
Yeah, Pretty good day, exploring new spots, catching a ton of fish, and catching that unexpected miracle catch sailfish. Uh, you're, she's so pumped up, she's like yelling in my ear. Let's go fishing. <laughs> we just got back from fishing. Let's go. Yeah, you know, I didn't have high expectations for today. I just want to try some new spots, but Benitas and Kings, and just like Dorothy said, a snapper and a sail yeah. and everything else. Yeah, can't complain. Can't so. complain at all. So, yeah, good day on the water. We hope to bring you guys more new exciting content real soon. Thank you for watching, and until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams. dreams. And, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. I'm going to do the point now, from now on. He keeps not saying wash your hands. Oh, and wash your hands. It's also distance if you're in a hot zone like us.